What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender add-on video for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out the newest version of Grassblade version two. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we've talked about Grassblade in the past. I will link to my intro video on this, but Grassblade is basically a tool designed to give you a library of things you can add for grass and weeds and fields and meadows and other things like that. So it's specifically focused on things like grass and um, really it's kind of built around their biome system, which is their system that basically kind of like stacks different features on top of each other. And so with this new version, what they've done is they've come out with a significant upgrade to their asset library the number of assets that are contained inside of it, things like that. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first off, um, they now have over 550 assets in here. So everything from little leaves and rocks all the way up through plant libraries and other things like that. And basically what happens is these are all combined together to create a realistic scene with realistic looking plants inside of your scene. And so the biomes are basically, like I said, just kind of a collection of these different things that are in here. So for example, they kind of add all of these things together in order to create a realistic result, kind of like the way um, plants act actually work in the real world. And so, like I said, with this new add-on, they've got a number of different assets and tools inside of their library. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of what's been added. All right, and so we've got grass blade enabled in here. So you just install that like you would anything else inside a blender. Um, but basically what we do is we start by setting emitters, right? So we would click on this button right here, click on this plane in order to make it an emitter. And so then we would go through and we would look at our different biomes. So if we were to click in here right now, Notice how this has a number of different biomes that are contained in here. I think they said there's over 200 now. So usually your best bet is probably instead of sorting through all of these right here, your best bet is probably just to go through and find the things that you're looking for. But um, what they've done is they've added a number of different biomes to this release. So for example, the dead leaves biome is gonna bring in dead leaves and place them on top of your surfaces. So let's say that we were to add some regular grass in here. So just the clean grass right here. So we're just gonna click on the button to add that. We can jump over into material preview mode and notice how it's still compiling the shaders, but we can go ahead and take a look. What that's done is that's added in this biome with these different parts and pieces. Notice these biomes get brought in with these different parts and pieces in here, which you can then remove or adjust individually. But let's say that we got the original green biome right here for the grass. And let's say I wanted to add some leaves to that. So what we would do is we would jump in here to the dead leaves function. And there's a selection of different dead leaves that are in here. Let's say we went with dead leaves 06 right here. So we've already got this set up as an emitter. If I click on load, what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring that biome in right here as a layer. And so we're gonna be able to adjust the things about that layer using the settings down below. So for example, um, I can adjust the push distance slider right here to set how high or low those leaves are going to be placed in here. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me a lot of control over the placement of the dead leaves. And again, because this release is basically new assets, um, for the most part, you know, we'd really have to add all of these in individually in order to really take a look at them, but we can scroll through and look at some of the different additions. And so one of the features that I think that anyone that's working with like any kind of landscapes or anything like that um, is really gonna like is they're gonna like the new mulch feature. And I'm gonna scale these to zero, so this is flat, but um, they've added a number of different mulch biomes in here for different kinds of mulch that you can add to things like planting beds and other things like that, which I think could be something that's kind of vital if you do any kind of like gardens or landscapes. And so we're just gonna select the circle right here. I'm gonna click on the button for mulch. What that's gonna do is that's gonna spread the mulch across this surface. So the cool thing about this is this is a very like high resolution mulch material that's being placed on this surface really quickly. So you can use this in order to really uh, to quickly place that in here and then you could add trees or other plants or things like that. And so some of the new biomes that I like are um, the different fields that we have in here. So we have different like plants in here. So for example, I like the one with the hay bales. So the hay bales are great to combine with like a tall grass or something like that. Um, they really add some like interesting geometry to your scene. Notice that some of these do come in, you need to select the assets. And right now they're set to not display in your viewport just because um, of performance issues. But you can jump over into the object properties. Under viewport display, 
you can set this to display as textured. So then it's actually gonna bring in the actual textured object. So we can jump back and take a look at this. Well, this one actually brings in hay bales that are placed on this surface, which uh, being from the country myself is something that I really like. But um, we could also come in here and in addition to having the hay bales, you could add something like fields of oats or something like that in here, or you could jump into the new tall grass category and add some tall grass that's in here. So for example, maybe something like, let's go with tall grass 01. But if I add that in, um, that's gonna spread all of this along this surface. And so that's gonna bring in multiple different layers of tall grass in here, which you can see inside your layers uh, function right here. But then if we were to jump over into rendered mode, you can see how this is gonna get us a really realistic result when this renders out. So especially if you couple this with an HDRI image and focus a little bit more on your shadows. But again, a number of different uh, new biomes have been added in this new version. So if you are looking for something that's specifically like grass and weeds oriented, this could definitely be a good fit. All right, so that's from it in this video. If you're interested in grass blight, I will link to it on this page. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the new features, about the tool in general. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.